Stuff with Hal Baum. My name's Hal Baum. And tonight we're talking to Max Jazzarine. Yes, I like that. The Jazzarino. <laughs> mm hmm. AKA, the El Jazzarino. AKA the Chaz Meister, Chaster Cheeto. Chaster Cheeto, that's pretty good. Yeah. AKA Diplo. <laughs> Diplo. Maybe you've heard his song. <laughs> Biggie Smalls. Mm. I'm a also, also, he's got a lot of Snoop monikers. Dog. Yeah, Snoop Doggy Dog, Dog Diplo, Biggie Smalls. <laughs> Dead You're like big into old school hip hop <laughs> and then immediately to Diplo. Like, there was a big gap where he didn't do any work. <laughs> atmosphere. Oh, that was you? Yeah, that was me too. Oh, I was Atmosphere also. So Slug? Yeah, I also am the Atmosphere cast band. of... Slug is just the guy. Yeah, I'm also the years. cast of uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, you're the entire cast? I'm the entire cast. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Me, it's me. like that Australian show, Summer Heights High, where you... you oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put five minutes on the clock. Why, oh, did I didn't even say the topic. We're talking about rock and roll. Rock and roll. roll. I'm going to put five minutes on the clock. Well, I do name ten Elvis songs. I don't that I I honestly have never listened to Elvis. Me neither. I know. Isn't there that I hound, heard them. that hound, hound dog. dog song? There's that hound dog song. I know that. Uh, you ain't nothing but that hound, hound dog. dog. And then uh, can't stop falling in love with you. I know this is mm. actually the tune to an old French song really? called Plaisir d'amour. Oh. I know because I sang it in choir. So pleasure of love. Probably I don't know. That's what that means. Do you speak French? Where je parle français. Hello. Well, that is what it is. Yeah, so um, I remember I sang that in choir. Oh, Bars the French choir. one? Or the... the French one. Mm. Were you in, you were in a choir? I was in multiple choirs. I was mm. in a cappella group. Really? I was in what was the name of your a cappella group? I was in one uh, that we that never really started, mm -hmm. but we uh, went around. It was, uh, well, I was in madrigals freshman madrigals varsity madrigals varsity mm -hmm. men's choir mm -hmm. chamber singers mm -hmm. small group Goodness. i was in an octet wow. like barber shop octet really a barber thing. shop octet yeah i didn't know they had those i mean we it's just doubling up on the parts. Oh. it's nothing like it doesn't <laughs> make yeah i see and then uh what else was all the longest time i we did that song yeah uh not in the barber shop but in a uh, small group and i was in a, a small group called uh that we never it nothing ever came of it mm. we we like had one rehearsal but i love the name it was uh the diverse tones and the key of love oh that yeah. is good yeah it's like uh johnny and the technicolor raincoat yeah that's not what that play is called it's joseph and the technicolor dream that's coat. Coat. it's close though <laughs> but so i've done lots of singing yeah, yeah. wow you ever seen like Baroque? No, I never really. I mean, I just was in a huge. I sang a lot in high school mm. and did my fair share. I took voice lessons, mm. uh, which was really fun. I wish I could still do it, but mm. who has time? That's true. Who has the time? Somebody does. Yeah, a high Paltrow. schooler does. Yeah, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow does too. She's got plenty of time on her hands. Yeah, and plenty of money. She could totally take voice lessons. Yeah, do you think she could pay for my voice lessons? <laughs> Email her. <laughs> See if she will. And getting back to the topic, rock operas. Yeah. Which is your favorite? Tommy uh, or The Wall? Those are the two that are. I've never seen The Wall. I've okay. seen parts of Tommy. Mm. Um, I've always been interested. I have the album. I've listened to the album. Mm. It's great. Mm. And then, but they, I, I think Quadrophenia, their other album, yeah, is technically a, a rock that opera. Is a rock. I was just joking. There's more than two. Yeah. Than two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely rock and roll mm. is 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 great. I love it. <laughs> rock and roll is great. Yeah, classic rock. Uh, any rock. Just, I mean, you know, everyone's. I was like, I listen to anything except country. I've never. Uh -huh. I, the only reason why I. That's just, what everyone says. But I just is like I love everything except country. I just I'm not. In, like I've never gotten into country. I don't. I think I would be if I found like the right. What country. about like Johnny Cash? Well, definitely. Like I'll That's listen to country. that. 
That's yeah. That's country. I have some. I have like his album and some old school country. Yeah, there. but like I definitely won't be Chris listening. Chris Christopherson is great. I didn't even know he's a country. Yeah. I'll, I can tell you though, I you won't be <laughs> hearing me listen to like Florida Georgia Line. That, mm. that one. I've night. never heard of that. They're like this new group, and they did a song with Nelly. So that's oh. just to give you perspective of no what thanks. kind of. Music. He, I won't mm. listen to Brad Paisley. Also, no. He wrote a weird song that I'm, I, don't I don't like that pattern. With. Does he wear all Paisley shirts? Do you think? No, I don't think so. I, he, That's a I, big missed opportunity there. I just you automatically aren't like I'm not gonna listen to you if your song is called "Accidentally Racist," which he did. <laughs> he wrote. Oh a song. right, right. But that was like yeah. I With mean, LL Cool yeah, J. Super racist. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. That, that was a really racist. That. Song. that was a while ago. That was like yeah. That was yeah. I remember that. Gross. Yeah, very gross. A lot of country singers are racist these days. Well, not these days, but just in general. Yeah. But a lot of people are racist. Yeah. So. Isn't today Martin Luther King Day? It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Apropos. I did. Happy Martin Luther King yeah, Day. Yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's been five minutes talking to Max <laughs> Jazzarine, a.k.a. Diplo, a.k.a. Biggie Smalls, a.k.a. Snoopy Doggy Dog. A.k.a. Atmosphere, a.k.a. AKA Atmosphere, Steve Jobs, Mick Opperman, cast of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He's got a lot of hats and a lot of names. I do have lots of hats. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily with me. I forgot my Beavis and Butthead hat at home when I came. That was what I was looking at. Is it a cap? It's a it's baseball a, cap? Yeah. I bought it at a thrift store. Oh. And I for a long time I wore it and I thought it was so cool. <laughs> pretty cool it is but it's it's also it was just me being an ignorant asshole what <laughs> not really an ignorant asshole but i was like i think i'm so cool because i love beef as a butthead yeah, that's pretty cool yeah it's a but, show. people like that but i don't think i ever watched it doesn't make you it. cool i didn't you wa- didn't watch it you just pretended yeah that's not cool that's i, a poser I mean now like i've You're watched a poser. it now i've watched it so right. i'm not a poser okay. anymore. So retroactively i'm not a poser yeah I but see. like at the time i bought it i was you like that's cool mm. i think i saw like one episode and i didn't pay attention right what were you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I was probably... It was just in the background. I was probably doing homework. Mm. With Beavis and Butterhead in the background? I always do homework with... The TV, TV on? Uh, something. I mm. need something. I, or just something. noise? Yeah. White noise? You should yeah. get a white noise machine. I could get a white noise machine. That's expensive. You got a TV. Might as well just use the TV. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's been five minutes talking to Mac Jazzarine about mm, rock and roll. I was yeah. about to say math because we're talking about homework. <laughs> It's not true. Yeah. Rock and roll. Math rock. That's math a rock. genre. That's a... Oh, yeah, that is. Mm-hmm. Very intricate guitar works uh-huh. and, like, strange uh, rhythm patterns, rhythm structures. Weird. Rhythm keys? What's it called? Tempos. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. The point is, this is the end of the show. Thanks for listening. Thanks for talking. Of course. Anytime. And as always, thank you and keep on rocking in the free world. Good night. Rock free! You are-